Have you ever desired to own rental properties and generate passive income, but had the significant down payment or stellar credit required to be approved for conventional mortgages? What if I told you that you can start investing in real estate even if you only have a few hundred dollars? Platforms for real estate crowdfunding are making it possible for anybody to access this high return, formerly elite asset class. You can browse investment properties on these internet marketplaces, put as little as $500 down, and receive profits backed by tangible assets and cash flow. Real estate investing is no longer just for the wealthy. Democratizing access, utilizing technology, and fractional ownership. Crowdfunding for real estate gives you control. High returns historically, potential for wealth creation. Are you prepared to assume responsibility and begin your path to financial independence? You hold the power right now. Real estate crowdfunding is a paradigm shift. Fundrise and other real estate crowdfunding platforms are making it possible for everyone to gain access to this high yield, previously exclusive asset class. You can browse investment properties on Fundrise, put as little as $500 down, and receive returns secured by tangible assets and positive cash flow. Real estate investing is no longer just for the wealthy. Democratizing access, utilizing technology, and fractional ownership. You are in charge with Fundrise. High returns historically, potential for wealth creation. Are you prepared to assume responsibility and begin your path to financial independence? You hold the power right now. Real estate crowdfunding is a paradigm shift. Platforms for real estate crowdfunding, like Fundrise, are expanding the market for this asset type. But it's crucial to be aware of the dangers. You run the risk of losing all of your money because these investments are illiquid. Returns are not insured. Before you invest, do some homework. However, Fundrise enables you to make modest investments in real estate that you wouldn't otherwise be able to. Real estate crowdfunding increases opportunities through democratizing access, allowing fractional ownership, and utilizing technology. Although historically speaking results have been favorable, exercise caution. Are you prepared to learn and possibly get wealthy? Finding out more is the first step. The game is altered by crowdfunding for real estate. Just invest money you can afford to lose, though. Have you ever fantasized about using real estate to generate passive income but believed you would need a sizable initial investment? You may now invest in real estate using real estate crowdfunding with as little as $500. Platforms like Fundrise provide access to assets that were previously only available to the wealthy. But first, familiarize yourself with the dangers. These alternative investments are illiquid, and you run the risk of losing all you invest. However, Fundrise enables you to hold fractional shares of institutional quality real estate that you wouldn't otherwise be able to access by pooling capital. Returns have often been high, but do your homework carefully before investing. Are you prepared to learn more about this and look into using real estate to develop wealth? Creating an investor profile on Fundrise.com is the first step. This enables you to go through available homes, comprehend the finances, and choose whether it fits with your risk appetite and objectives. Crowdfunding for real estate allows regular investors to participate. But use caution and only invest money that you won't need to access. Although there are risks involved, the potential returns are enormous. If you want to become wealthy, take charge of your financial future. Let's now investigate Fundrise, a popular platform. Fundrise collects funds from thousands of individuals to buy institutional-grade real estate around the U.S., including apartments, hotels, and shopping malls. On their website, you can look through the different investments and decide whether to invest in a diversified fund or a particular asset. Just $500 is required to get started. Property management, remodeling, and leasing are all handled by Fundrise, which makes money from rent and appreciation. Averaging 8 to 12% over time, historical returns are competitive with equities but supported by tangible assets. Principal and returns are not insured. But Fundrise offers up access to assets that were previously only accessible to the wealthy few for approved and non-accredited investors alike. 
Are you prepared to investigate how technology might help you increase your wealth? Create a portfolio at Fundrise.com to start your investigation. Crowdfunding for real estate is still a developing industry with dangers. However, Fundrise enables you to access an asset class with a solid track record by pooling capital. Take your time to weigh the advantages and disadvantages. Real estate may be your route to financial independence if you have the correct training. An updated script that mentions some additional real estate crowdfunding websites in addition to Fundrise is provided below. Crowdfunding for real estate enables you to make modest investments in properties suitable for institutions. But first, be aware of the hazards, including total loss and illiquidity. Let's now examine a few prominent platforms. The biggest one is Fundrise. They pool their resources to buy significant real estate holdings all throughout the US. The minimum investment is $500. Strong historical returns are not a guarantee of future success, though. Other significant competitors include Realty Mobile, which offers a combination of debt and equity solutions, and CrowdStreet, which focuses on individual properties with higher minimums. There are different price schedules, investment categories, and minimums for each platform. Before making an investment on any real estate crowdfunding website, perform careful due diligence. Make sure you comprehend the fundamentals of real estate, risks, costs, and your liquidity horizon. Examine past results, but don't count on future success. Real estate crowdfunding offers the possibility for portfolio diversity and wholesome returns provided you educate yourself and make prudent investments. Visit Fundrise.com, CrowdStreet.com, and RealtyMobile.com right now to get your research going. Be cautious because the doors are open. The following script has been modified with some advice on carrying out due diligence on real estate crowdfunding investments. Investment options are made available by real estate crowdfunding, but don't be seduced solely by impressive profits. First, finish your assignment. Analyze the financials and company plan. Ensure that they are appropriate for the market. Consider the sponsor's background. Risk is reduced when they close more agreements. Examine rent rolls, occupancy rates, and, if available, the conditions of key leases. Consider the regional tendencies. Demand is driven by population and job growth. Watch out for warning signs like high costs, inflated projections, or overstretched sponsors. Make sure there is a successful evacuation plan. Investigate the area, the renters, and similar sales. Drive on the grounds. Verify the information with your own eyes. Nothing you buy is guaranteed. But when crowdfunding real estate, doing your homework thoroughly significantly reduces risk. Give it some time. Pose inquiries. Additionally, only use money that you can afford to lose completely. Real estate crowdfunding can offer enticing risk-adjusted returns and portfolio diversification when done with due diligence up front. However, the homework is crucial. Therefore, jump in now to ensure your financial future. An updated script outlining elements that could affect real estate crowdfunding results is provided below. Real estate crowdfunding provides access to investments with promisingly high returns. However, a lot of factors influence performance, so be realistic with your expectations. Location has a significant impact on demand, rent, and valuation. Properties in communities with a vibrant economy typically do better. Examine the local population employment trends, and infrastructure. The kind of property matters as well. Industrial and apartment space are very popular right now. Post-COVID, the hotel and retail industries are more shaky. Recognize each type of asset. Run the numbers because management costs can reduce returns. More cash flow results from lower expenses and overhead. Consider vacancy or renovation periods as well. Leverage increases profits when property values increase but increases losses when they decline. Determine your risk tolerance for the amount of debt a property has. Not every quarter will be easy sailing. Real estate experiences cycles. Take a long-term approach to various initiatives. Returns on investments are never guaranteed. 
However, careful research may be used to calculate reasonable profits from real estate crowdfunding. Study hard and increase your riches. The following advice will help you undertake complete due research before making an investment on real estate crowdfunding websites. Examine the history and performance of the sponsor. Look for teams with experience who have done numerous successful projects. Carefully examine the company plan. Are the anticipated returns reasonable? Exists a clear plan for increasing the assets worth? Examine local market patterns and factors influencing demand. Growing populations and employment levels increase demand. If there are already tenants, look over their leases and tenant lists. Consider stability and turnover risk. Take a drive-by or pay a visit in person. Learn about the area's setting, conditions, and surroundings firsthand. Check property records for deeds, liens, transaction histories, and other financial information. Check permits, zoning laws, and requirements for renovations if any are being considered. To assess historical performance, review the audited financial statements, the operating costs, and the rent rolls. Examine the sponsor for conflicts of interest and open disclosures. Examine regional market factors such as inventory, vacancy rates, and comparables. Middle. Address any queries or worries directly to the sponsor. It takes time, but complete due diligence is necessary to make wise investment decisions and avoid costly errors. Do your research before investing money. Before making an investment, always consider your own risk tolerance and financial goals. Real estate crowdfunding can result in appealing rewards, but there are also significant hazards that need to be well recognized. Do your research. Are you dissatisfied with the paltry returns on your savings? What if you could help others achieve their aspirations while earning a nice living doing it? Peer-to-peer -peer lending brings together investors and borrowers looking for low-interest loans. By cutting out the intermediaries, you may still provide fair financing while generating interest. Personal effects, deep connections, and convenient access to adaptable finance. When you use peer-to-peer -peer lending, you are in charge. Obtain investing goals while helping real individuals with debt refinancing, business expansion, and home repairs. Are you ready to take charge? Are you tired of having your fate determined by Wall Street and the big banks? The doors are open, and there are countless alternatives. Personal loans and contributions to charities. You can get returns through peer-to-peer -peer lending at your own pace. The modified script, which includes a recommendation for a website where you may find out more about peer-to-peer -peer lending, is available here. Tired of the low bank interest rates? Imagine making significant financial gains while transforming lives. Peer-to-peer -peer lending allows you to interact with loan applicants in person. By doing away with traditional banks, you may provide capital at affordable rates and make money. Access to people, flexible financing alternatives, and help for real people. Peer-to-peer -peer allows you to be in control. By funding home improvements, debt relief, and business expansions, you may achieve your goals. Want to learn more? A great resource is Peerform.com, a well-known peer-to-peer network with educational materials for new investors. Take steps to control your financial future. Goodbye to big banks indifference. Peer-to-peer -peer lending presents prospects that are realistic. Earn money at your own pace and make a difference. The door is now open, are you ready to enter? The following script has been changed to describe the peer-to-peer -peer lending system. Are you sick and tired of traditional banks' low interest rates? Lending between individuals offers alluring benefits while doing good. How does it function? Two, Investors may contribute capital either individually or collectively through funds. You select the loan types, risks, and return goals with which you are comfortable. Inquiries are made for unsecured personal loans up to $40,000 by applicants. The software assesses their creditworthiness using data on their employment, income, and credit scores. Interest rates are applied to funded loans based on the borrower's risk profile. Returns typically range from 5 to 12%, depending on the loan grade selected. After seeing the loan details online, 
you may decide whether to invest in all or a portion of the loans that satisfy your requirements. The platform controls collection efforts and payment defaults. Obtain decent returns while providing affordable financing options. Take charge of your money's potential on your terms. Peer-to-peer -peer lending generates enticing profits and has an effect. An updated screenplay outlining some of the dangers of peer-to-peer -peer lending is provided below. Funding genuine people instead of banks will yield bigger profits. Peer-to-peer -peer lending does, however, include some dangers. Loan defaults by borrowers could lower your income. However, traditionally, default rates have been below 5%. Platforms make it possible to diversify and reduce risk. Interest rates change throughout time depending on the economy, supply, and demand. Return projections are not always assured. Compared to stocks or bonds, peer-to-peer -peer loans are less liquid. Your investment money can be held hostage for a few weeks or years. Don't invest money that you'll need access to right now, as with any investment. Be ready to retain loans until they mature. This alternative asset class is uninsured by the FDIC. Perform research on platforms before making an investment. Peer-to-peer -peer lending offers appealing rewards and diversification from traditional options, even though it is not risk-free. Take control of your financial destiny, but enter the process with awareness. Through peer-to-peer -peer lending, investors and borrowers who are seeking loans are put in direct contact. Compared to conventional loans through banks, it operates differently. Here is a description of the procedure. 1. On peer-to-peer -peer websites like Lending Club or Prosper, borrowers submit loan applications. They divulge financial and personal data. 2. After evaluating the borrower's creditworthiness, the peer-to-peer -peer platform rates their risk. Interest rates increase as risk increases. 3. Investors peruse loan listings on the platform and decide which loans to fund based on rates, conditions, and risk tolerance. 4. The loan amount is given to the borrower straight from the investor's combined cash. There isn't a physical bank involved. 5. The borrower pays back the loan on a monthly basis. These payments are made to the owners of investment accounts, with a minor fee paid to the platform. 6. Principal and interest payments on the loans that the investors supported are made to them. Peer-to-peer -peer platforms manage defaults and collections. Borrowers can access reasonable financing alternatives through the process, and investors can often earn returns of 5 to 12 percent. Decentralized capital is made available. Are there any risks involved in peer-to-peer -peer lending? Some of the main risks associated with peer-to-peer -peer lending include the following. Credit danger The invested principal and accumulated interest are forfeited in the event of a default by a borrower. The default rate has often been less than 5%. Due to the difficulty of selling peer-to-peer -peer loans on secondary markets, illiquidity risk is increased. For several weeks, months, or even years, money may be kept hostage. Risk associated with interest rates, as interest rates fluctuate over time, returns could also change. Projections of yield are not guarantees. Platform risk, the peer-to-peer -peer company might go out of business, run into technical problems, or handle money incorrectly. Regulatory risk, the sector may be impacted by upcoming increases in governmental regulation. Risk of diversification, if default rates rise, the risk is raised by placing an excessive amount of emphasis on a small number of loans. Account information still has a danger of being compromised due to cybersecurity risks. Because there is no FDIC protection, peer-to-peer -peer lending is less secure than bank accounts. Despite offering tempting incentives, peer-to-peer -peer lending is riskier than savings accounts or bonds. Do thorough study before investing any funds you might need access to right away. Make sure you are informed of the risks before investing. Platforms for peer-to-peer -peer lending handle defaults in the manner described below. Peer-to-peer -peer lending carries some risks, one of which is borrower default. So, when this occurs, how do the platforms react? The platform will try to persuade the borrower to make up any late payments through calls, emails, letters, and negotiation. 
The platform will send the loan to a collection agency to try to get it paid back or settled if it is truly past due, usually 90 days or more. Any money recovered through collections will be distributed proportionately among the investors who funded the loan. If after multiple attempts at collection the debt is still unable to be paid, it is written off as a default. A loan loss reserve fund, usually approximately 5%, will often cover a percentage of default losses on peer-to-peer -peer platforms. The investor's outstanding interest and principal obligations are reduced by any remaining losses. Having a diverse portfolio of loans reduces the impact of defaults on investors. After the platform attempts to collect, a collections agency, a reserve fund, and finally investors who absorb the financial effect come into play. A thorough due diligence investigation of potential borrowers lowers default rates. The following describes how platforms for peer-to-peer -peer lending handle defaults. The promptness of defaults is carefully monitored. The majority of defaults traditionally happen in the first few years of the loan term. When interest rates are disclosed to debtors, technology is used to foresee and estimate the cost of potential defaults. Algorithms and credit models are always being developed to better pinpoint borrowers who might be hazardous. Some systems enable investors to partially recover their losses by selling defaulted notes to debt buyers on secondary markets. Platforms give investors access to information on historical loan performance, default rates, and collection strategies. Diversification reduces the impact of defaults on returns by spreading defaults among a variety of loans and borrowers. Investors have the choice of manually selecting loans or using automated systems that filter for things like loan grades, income levels, and credit ratings. Historically, default rates for the bulk of peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms have been below 5% on average. Defaults are inevitable, but they can be minimized by diversification, data analysis, and thorough credit assessment. Do your homework and balance your risk appetite with your expected returns, investors. The following are some typical costs related to platforms for peer-to-peer -peer lending. A fee that the platform charges the borrower up front to process and originate the loan. Usually between 1% and 6% of the loan amount. A regular monthly fee that the investor is required to pay to cover the price of reporting, customer service, and payment collection. Around 1% year. Borrowers may be charged a fee for making late loan payments, which goes to the investors. The normal monthly installment is between 5 and 10%. If a third-party collection firm is hired to manage past due receivables, investors could be charged a collection fee. According to the agency, if you sell loan shares to other investors before the shares mature, certain platforms levy a secondary market fee. The price can be 1%. Cost of return payments. When a borrower's payment bounces or is unsuccessful, this fee is typically levied. The average cost of a return payment is $15. The fees charged have an impact on investor profits while also allowing the platforms to function and uphold high levels of service. Read the small print to learn the total fees before investing. Experiencing a lack of interest from your savings? Imagine seeing your money increase around the clock in the biggest financial market on earth. Profiting from international currency changes is possible through Forex trading. Sell high, buy low. Earn whether or if prices increase. Set your own timetable and trade anytime the markets are open. Large leverage enables control of positions with little initial investment. Volatility creates opportunity as well as risk. First, arm yourself with knowledge. Pips, spreads, and lot sizes are fundamental fundamentals to learn. Mastery of chart indicators and patterns. Use effective risk management. Limit your trading. Create a trading strategy and follow it. Forex gains are possible for those who exercise discipline. Demo accounts are essential for practicing tactics without putting real money at risk. When you are ready, open a real account. Start trading after funding it. 
Forex eliminates conventional obstacles. Trade from any location. Small minimum account balances. On your terms, make the markets work for you. Have you prepared? Door is wide open. However, as a beginner, proceed with caution. Take calculated risks rather than jeopardizing your livelihood. Now bravely step into the trading world and take the chance. This video presents an appealing YouTube style introduction to Forex trading for beginners. Please let me know if you would like me to elaborate further on any particular aspect or subject. In addition to the script that provides extra information on chart patterns and indications is provided below. Have you ever had the impression that your money is doing nothing for you but sitting around? Feeling as though you're losing out as others increase their wealth? What if I told you there was a straightforward strategy for investing that has historically outperformed actively managed funds? A technique to automatically expand your nest egg. I'm referring to online index fund investing. Index funds follow a market-wide index, such as the S&P 500. Technical analysts utilize the patterns in their price charts to forecast next movements. Strong momentum on the charts may indicate an upswing is starting. Other patterns, such as double bottoms, might suggest profitable entry points. You may find the best periods to purchase and sell by combining chart pattern analysis with leading indicators like the moving average convergence divergence, relative strength index, and on balance volume. Index funds extremely low fees allow you to save money because they aren't actively managed. They are naturally diversified, which lowers your risk. And traditionally, over the long run, index funds have performed on par with or better than actively managed funds. You can quickly and easily invest in index funds using an online brokerage account. Set up automatic payments from your checking account so that your money works for you right away. Compound growth will eventually do its magic. Your unused funds will grow into a portfolio that needs no upkeep on your side. Long-term gains and passive income are waiting. Therefore, don't let your money sit around idly. Online index fund investments will help your money work harder for you. The benefits could be too big to pass up. It's time to assume initiative and make plans for the future. An extension concentrating on typical errors newcomers make in Forex trading is provided below. It may appear interesting to trade currencies in order to increase your income. However, it's simple to make errors when you're new to Forex trading that could cost you your entire account. So what frequent mistakes can new traders avoid? Jumping in without a trading strategy can only lead to failure. Rules for entrances, exits, and position sizing must be established in advance. Trading impulsively based on feelings is a fast way to lose money. Over leveraging is yet another serious error. You shouldn't utilize 500 to 1 leverage just because your broker provides it. As you gain experience, limit your leverage to no more than 5 to 1. Beginners suffer from overtrading as well. Staying on the sidelines is sometimes the wisest course of action. When an occasional large loss occurs, failing to apply stop losses will cause your account to collapse. Use stops at all times to reduce downside risk. Don't average down on unsuccessful transactions, as well. Double dipping is not a tactic. 
you'll become frustrated trying to predict market tops and bottoms. Before investing, wait for proof of a trend reversal. Finally, in your portfolio, avoid having too much FX. Limit it to 5% of your capital or less until you have gained experience. Avoid these typical beginning errors, and your chances of surviving and succeeding in Forex trading will increase. Pay your dues, pick up the nuances, and those currency trades may someday prove to be quite profitable. A fun, simple method to explain the fundamentals of FX. Their trading course teaches newcomers sound trading techniques. Forex4noobs.com simplifies difficult Forex ideas into tutorials for beginners. Daily market analyzes and trading ideas are shared by seasoned traders. DailyFX.com is the research website for FXCM. It disseminates daily news, analysis, and education for readers of all levels of experience. They have some excellent trading guides. On YouTube, Rainer Teo provides straightforward lessons on FX trading. His movies demonstrate tried and true methods in an understandable manner. The Forex for Beginners course from Investopedia covers everything from pip values to pivot points. Additionally, a trading simulator is available for risk-free practice. Corey Mitchell's booklet, Currency Strategies Guide for Day and Swing Traders, contains 285 pages of strategies for making money on the currency markets. Utilize these excellent resources to reduce your learning curve. And don't forget to exercise wise risk management as you develop your abilities. You may trade currencies successfully if you receive the proper Forex education. The following resources are suggested for learning more about FX trading. Books. Mark Gallant's Currency Trading for Dummies A Good Introduction to FX Fundamentals. Abe Kaufness The Forex Trading Course is a step-by-step -step manual for creating trading strategies. Anne-Marie Bayen's book The Trading Book. A complete solution to mastering technical systems and trading psychology focuses on trading psychology. Podcasts include Chat with Traders by Aaron Fifield, which features conversations with seasoned Forex traders. Eddie Ann Crete's Desire to Trade podcast, Advice and Mindset for Beginning Traders. Online Education Babapip School of Pipsology Free Introduction to FX Course for Beginners Forex for Beginners course at Investopedia Academy, Organized Online Lessons Channels on YouTube Rainer Teo, Brief, Often Updated Beginners Tutorials Trading Rush, Charts and Analysis to Improve Your Trading Abilities Practice Accounts free demo account on forex.com to practice real-time trading without risk. Awanda practice account, create and test methods with fictitious money. The secret is to learn from several sources, practice trading virtually, and begin with little actual money. It is possible to become proficient in Forex trading with time and the right training. Here are some pointers for choosing the right position size in trading. Calculate the size of a position. These tools enable you to determine the right amount of shares or contracts to buy or sell by entering your account size, risk per trade, and stop loss. Only 1-2% of your account should be at risk per trade. 
risk $100 to $200 per trade for a $10,000 account. You can tolerate a run of defeats because of this. Consider volatility. Use a smaller position size when trading a stock or currency pair that is very volatile. Take fixed fractional position sizing into consideration. Positions are calculated depending on your account, risk tolerance, and stop loss. 100 shares of a $10 stock would be the 1% risk with a $1 stop. Adjust position sizing based on technical indicators. For instance, purchase more when readings are oversold and less when sections are overbought. Trail stop losses as the trade goes in your favor to lock in winnings and lower risk. This enables size to increase in the trend's direction. Use diversification to reduce the total portfolio risk. Combine speculative trades with assets that are more prudent. The secret to limiting risk and maximizing rewards is proper position sizing. Consider the volatility carefully, make use of calculators, and scale in and out of trades in accordance with your strategy. Your prospects of long-term trading success will increase as a result. Investing in index funds online. Have you ever had the impression that your money is doing nothing for you but sitting around? Feeling as though you're losing out as others increase their wealth? What if I told you there was a straightforward strategy for investing that has historically outperformed actively managed funds? A technique to automatically expand your nest egg. I'm referring to online index fund investing. Index funds follow a market-wide index, such as the S&P 500. Their extremely low fees allow you to save money because they are not actively managed. They are naturally diversified, which lowers your risk. And traditionally, over the long run, index funds have performed on par with or better than actively managed funds. You can quickly and easily invest in index funds using an online brokerage account. Set up automatic payments from your checking account so that your money works for you right away. Compound growth will eventually do its magic. Your unused funds will grow into a portfolio that needs no upkeep on your side. Long-term gains and passive income are waiting. Therefore, don't let your money sit around idly. Online index fund investments will help your money work harder for you. The benefits could be too big to pass up. It's time to assume initiative and make plans for the future. Can you recommend any specific online brokerage accounts for investing in index funds? Here are some suggestions for trustworthy internet brokers for investing in index funds. Fidelity, Fidelity has no minimum investment requirements and offers a large selection of index products. They also have relatively low expense ratios for their index ETFs. Fidelity offers a user-friendly web platform. Vanguard, one of the biggest companies that provides index funds is Vanguard. Directly investing with Vanguard gives you no cost access to their index funds. Their funds have extremely low expense ratios as well. Vanguard's web user interface is simple to use. Charles Schwab Schwab offers a large range of inexpensive index funds with no minimum account size. There are no commissions when trading their index funds online. In addition, Schwab offers tools, research, and a user-friendly web platform. Over 100 commission-free index funds are available from TD Ameritrade. Additionally, they have a wide range of ETFs. Both their mobile app and internet platform are easy to use. At TD Ameritrade, Index funds don't require a minimum investment. A trade, a trade offers free online trading for a variety of index funds. 
For those who are new to investing in index funds, they provide research, advice, and educational materials. Both the mobile app and website for eTrade are simple to use. The secret is picking a brokerage that offers the index funds you want, minimal costs, no startup minimums, and an easy-to-use web platform. Comparing costs and services might aid in selecting the finest one. Do any of these brokerages provide more information on investing in index funds? Yes, a lot of the top online brokers provide tools and resources for learning about and researching index funds. Fidelity provides an index funds learning center with articles, videos, and webcasts that describe the fundamentals of index funds, their advantages, and how to invest. Aside from that, research instruments like Fund Compare and Fund Research Experience. Vanguard offers a wealth of information in its Index Fund Resources section, which also includes a section titled Index Fund Investing Education that has articles and tips on the subject. Schwab provides information about index funds in its index investing section. Offers research tools including the Index Investment Strategy Calculator and Indexology. TD Ameritrade offers videos, articles, and tutorials regarding index funds in its Investing in Index Funds Instructional Center. Provides methods for screening funds as well. E-Trade provides an index fund center that details the benefits and workings of index funds offers options for fund research and filtering. Overall, these large brokerages understand the need of education for DIY investors. To assist investors in making wise selections, they provide a multitude of educational information on their websites and platforms. Utilizing these free learning resources can help you get ahead. What are some common mistakes people make when investing in index funds? Here are some common mistakes to avoid when investing in index funds. Not understanding how index funds work, index funds aim to match the return of a market index, not outperform the market. Knowing they operate differently than actively managed funds is important. Choosing funds with high fees, some index funds have high expense ratios, which eat into returns over time. Seek funds with fees under 0.20% or less. Too much overlap, investing in multiple index funds tracking the same part of the market can lead to overallocation and redundancy. Chasing past performance, don't choose funds only because they did well recently. Past performance does not guarantee future results. Ignoring asset allocation, ensure your overall asset allocation is aligned with your risk tolerance and goals, not just choosing individual funds. Too much trading, index funds are designed to be long-term investments. Excessive trading increases costs and taxes. Not reinvesting dividends, reinvesting distributions allows more shares to be purchased over time. Panic selling, Index funds tend to rebound so try not to sell in a temporary downturn, as that can lock in losses. Failing to rebalance, rebalancing periodically will help maintain your original desired asset allocation over the long run. The key is having a solid understanding of how index funds work, keeping fees low, maintaining proper asset allocation, and taking a long-term, buy-and-hold approach. Can you explain more about compound growth and how it works with index funds? Compound growth is a potent factor that, when used to invest in index funds over the long run, can dramatically increase returns. Here is a quick explanation of how it operates. When dividends are paid out, you have the opportunity to reinvest them by buying more shares of the fund. Index funds try to mimic the whole return of a market index, which includes capital appreciation and stock prices as well as dividends. By dollar cost averaging dividend reinvestments, you can increase your holdings of fund shares without making further investments. 
because dividends are based on the total number of shares held. They increase as the number of shares increases over time as a result of reinvestment. As a result, reinvested dividends generate an exponential growth in dividends. The growing process is accelerated by compounding. Reinvesting over 30 years, for instance, would essentially quadruple the total growth compared to not reinvesting if an index fund generates an average annual return of 8%. Compounding occurs automatically when index funds are held for a long time. The strength of compounding increases with the length of the time horizon. The main lesson is that the power of compound growth makes it possible to greatly increase overall returns by reinvested dividends. Over many years, consistent investment contributions and dividends that are reinvested provide highly powerful compounding. Can you recommend any specific index funds with low fees? Following are some suggestions for specific index funds that span several important asset groups and charge reasonably modest fees. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF VOO, US stocks, 0.03% cost ratio. Fidelity Zero Total Market Index Fund, FSROX, which has a 0% cost ratio for US stocks. Vanguard FTSE All World X US ETF, VEU, which tracks global stocks, has an expense ratio of 0.08%. The Schwab International Index Fund, SWISX, for international stocks has an expense ratio of 0.06%. The Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF, BND, for bonds has an expense ratio of 0.035%. Bonds. The iShares Core U.S. Aggregate Bond ETF AGG, has an expense ratio of 0.04%. Vanguard Real Estate ETF VNQ, 0.12% cost ratio for rights. Fidelity MSCI Real Estate Index ETF FREL, which has an expense ratio of 0.08% for rights. Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets ETF VWO, which tracks emerging markets, has an expense ratio of 0.10%. The secret is to find large, market cap weighted index funds that follow significant benchmarks and have expense ratios that are as near to 0% as is practical. These reduce charge drag and aid in long-term return maximization. Online gold and silver trading. Money blinging. Do you have your eyes closed by the alluring thought of hitting it rich with gold and silver? I used to be one of them until I was burned by unscrupulous sellers of pyrite dreams. There is a positive aspect. Without having to be concerned about inflated prices or damaged reputations, you can begin trading precious metals online. I came upon a gold mine of reliable marketplaces where you can sell and purchase the real McCoy for reasonable prices. Throw out the shady back alley sellers. These formidable systems offer price transparency, impenetrable security, and super quick execution so you may grasp chances before they go in an instant. Click subscribe right now to get the inside scoop on how to trade yellow and white metal online, whether you're an angel seeking to cherish a nest egg or a high roller seeking to make monster gains. This gold rush is only getting started. Can you recommend any specific online trading platforms for gold and silver? Some of the websites that are frequently recommended as choices for trading precious metals include Bullion Vault, enables online trading of bullion bars of gold and silver. Promotes cheap storage and commission costs. Appmex, sells coins and bars made of gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. Provides solutions for secure storage. Money Metals Exchange makes it possible to buy precious metals online. Offers choices for vault storage and delivery. JM Bullion, online retailer of real gold and silver bars and coins. Provides safe vault storage. SD Bullion, said to have the quickest turnaround times and the lowest pricing for gold and silver. Delivers everything fully insured. 
Gold Silver offers a large selection of precious metals for sale. Highlights complete pricing transparency. In order to avoid making these blunders when dealing gold, silver, or other precious metals online, keep reading. Not checking out sellers, only purchase from reliable merchants with a solid track record and excellent ratings. Avoid dealing with sellers whose past is not known. Falling victim to fraud, be aware of offers or pricing that seem too good to be true. There are phony precious metal scams online. Investigate sellers in depth. A lack of grasp of pricing, the factors that go into determining precious metal prices are intricate. Recognize the influence of spot pricing, premiums, and buying and selling. Purchasing pricey coins, the markups on some collector coins over their melt value are extremely large. Before buying numismatic coins, be aware of the melt value. Paying exorbitant fees, compare commission, processing, storage, and shipping costs between vendors. Better results result from lower fees. Not insuring shipments, ensure any physical shipments of precious metals in the event of loss or theft. Review the delivery guidelines. Failure to report purchases. In the US, purchases of precious metals exceeding $10,000 must be reported to the IRS. Keep accurate records. Disregarding security standards, to safeguard accounts and assets, use complicated passwords, two-factor authentication, and other security measures. Trying to timing the market is risky since precious metals are erratic. To even out pricing, use the dollar cost average rather than market timing. Before dealing precious metals online, conduct in-depth research, stick with reliable sellers, and comprehend pricing dynamics. Pay particular attention to the costs as well as the reporting obligations. Online trading can be secure and effective when done correctly. When buying, selling, or exchanging gold, silver, or other precious metals online, keep the following fees in mind. Premiums, a premium is a markup over the metal's base melt value. Depending on the type of metal, form, mintage, and dealer, premiums might range from 5 to 20% plus. Commissions, online merchants may tack on a 10% commission to every deal. Depending on the platform, these range between 0.5 and 5%. Storage fees, annual storage fees, which are normally 0.5 to 2% of the total value, apply when storing precious metals with a dealer. Shipping fees, when receiving physical metals, shipping and insurance fees are due. In the US, overnight shipping can run you $30 to $60. Processing fees, some merchants impose minor handling or order processing charges every transaction, ranging from $5 to $20. Grading slash authentication, some collectible coins may be subject to third-party grading and certification, which can cost between $10 and $100 per item. Account fees, some dealers charge $5 per month or $50 annually for account maintenance. Spread costs, a transaction cost is the difference between the buy and sell prices. Higher dealer margins are indicated by wider spreads. High volume, low margin dealers who store metals on site and offer transparent, aggressive pricing typically charge the lowest total fees. Reduced trading expenses for precious metals can be achieved by fully comprehending fee arrangements. Can you expand on the potential benefits of trading precious metals online? Investing in precious metals like gold, silver, platinum, and palladium through online platforms and dealers may have the following advantages. Convenience, online trading makes it simple to buy, sell, and deliver items from the comfort of your home or while traveling. No need to go to the neighborhood coin businesses. Better price, by eliminating middlemen, online dealers offer transparent pricing and cheaper rates. Performing a comparison is simpler. Greater variety, online sources offer a wider assortment of bullion and collectible coins. Enhanced security, reputable online merchants safeguard assets with encryption, secure storage, and insurance. Decreases dangers. Fewer fees, 
Since online retailers typically have fewer operating costs, they can charge less for storage, shipping, and buying and selling. Diversification of holdings, because precious metals have a low correlation to stocks and bonds, they can increase portfolio returns. Inflation hedge, historically, gold and silver have performed better than most investments at protecting value from inflationary pressures. Potential growth, the value of precious metals might increase dramatically if demand increases or the supply is restricted. Liquidity, due to the existence of active online secondary markets, dealing in precious metals is quick and easy. Online trading offers a very practical approach to include precious metals in a portfolio at reasonable prices, provided a reliable dealer is utilized. Just make sure to thoroughly investigate dealers and comprehend pricing dynamics. Here is a rough script that addresses the dangers related to trading gold and silver online. When it comes to online trading of precious metals, not everything that glitters is gold. I discovered that the hard way after blindly entering the digital gold rush. Even though trading gold, silver, and other metals online has significant risks you must be aware of, it may appear alluring to make big, dazzling rewards. I'm referring to exorbitant fees that stealthily empty your bank accounts, dubious sellers of counterfeit ingots, and security flaws that leave you defenseless. If you don't properly hedge, the erratic metals markets, even with respectable sellers, can destroy you in a heartbeat. Not to mention the IRS, which is constantly watching you and waiting to pounce if you fail to accurately declare your income. I'll shed some light on the dark truths of precious metals trading online in this video. You'll learn how to recognize con artists, steer clear of unnecessary risks, and give Uncle Sam what he deserves to avoid getting into trouble. Even if the gold may sparkle, I'll show you the ugly side that isn't included in the brochures. Both the gains and the hazards are actual. To avoid being burned by the hidden risks of precious metals trading online, grab some popcorn and click subscribe. I wish I had known this information before firing the shot. When purchasing and selling precious metals online, keep the following in mind to avoid falling victim to scams. Verify that the contact information is accurate. Scam websites frequently provide phony phone numbers and addresses. Make sure the dealer's corporate office is real. Investigate their reputation by conducting a name plus scam or review search to find complaints. Check out Trustpilot and the BBB. Watch out for too good to be true pricing. Extremely low costs are probably a sign of a con. There are inherent minimum values in precious metals. Inquire about delivery and inventory, con artists may not genuinely have any. Ask thorough inquiries on sourcing and delivery. Conduct a reverse image search, scammers steal authentic images of metals. Search for images in reverse to ensure originality. Be on the lookout for high pressure methods, reputable dealers don't need to push sales hard. If pressed, turn away. Verify industry registrations. Reputable dealers are members of organizations as PNG, ICTA, etc. Establish membership. Steer clear of paying with cash. Never use cash, gift cards, cryptocurrency, or non-reversible payment methods. Pay with credit cards. Read the small print, review the refund, return, and restocking charge policies. Scams strictly enforce no return rules. To avoid being conned in precious metals transactions, carefully examine seller methods, ask specific questions, and double-check all facts. Use only reputable websites with a solid track record. Are there any red flags I should look out for when researching online precious metals dealers? When studying online precious metals traders, be on the lookout for the following possible red flags. No physical address, a company that is bogus may not have a complete address listed on their website. Lack of contact information, if a problem arises, getting support may be difficult without a phone number or email address. Lack of executive information, reputable businesses list the names and biographies of owners and executives. Stock photographs, instead of using images of genuine inventory, generic stock images are used. Too good to be true pricing, extremely low pricing usually means there is a problem. 
sales pressure techniques, aggressive pushes for immediate purchases reveal a preference for sales over customer service. Negative reviews, look for any recurring complaints on websites like Trustpilot and the BBB. Lack of transparency, ambiguous language on costs, obligations, and rules. There is no buyback policy, reputable dealers let clients return things for a reimbursement. No verification icons, security certifications like Norton Verified and McAfee Secure should be displayed. Missing industry affiliation, the majority of trustworthy dealers are members of associations like ANA, PNG, and ICTA. Red flags aren't always deal breakers, but more than one should make you think twice before doing business with an online precious metals dealer. Be cautious and do your homework before submitting any personal information or making a payment. Robo-Advisors for Automated Investing Feel as though your lack of knowledge is keeping you from investing? What if you could expand your money with a few simple clicks on autopilot? Robotic investment advisors that carry out the grunt work for you come to mind. Algorithm-driven platforms called robo-advisors create and manage portfolios that are customized to your needs. They take care of it all for you around the clock, so you don't have to study investments or rebalance. The robo-advisor examines your risk appetite and timetable after you respond to a brief questionnaire. They then spread your funds among inexpensive ETFs and index products that are maximized for returns and tax efficiency. As you get older, robots automatically rebalance and redistribute. Even some offer advice on financial planning and portfolio analysis. It only takes a few minutes to sign up and you may fund your account instantly online or with automatic deductions from your paycheck. There are no starting minimums for popular robo-advisors like Betterment, Wealthfront, and Elvest. The annual fees range from 0.25 to 50%. For automated professional money management, that is a small portion of what typical advisor costs are. Why pass up long-term profits just because investing appears difficult? so that you can see your wealth increase, let a robo-advisor handle the work. Now is the perfect time to start investing without all the hassle. Your incredibly effective companion in creating financial security is a robo-advisor. Can you recommend any specific robo-advisor platforms? Here are some broad pointers for selecting a robo-advisor. Seek out well-known, trustworthy platforms like Elvest, Betterment, Wealthfront, and Schwab Intelligent Portfolios. Stay away from robo-startups with a new track record. Examine prices. Habosh charge between 0.25% and 0.50% of the assets they manage each year. Some have minimal account balances. Examine investing options. Robots build portfolios using index funds and ETFs. Check to see if the funds fit your risk appetite. Check account services, many of these feature automatic rebalancing, retirement alternatives, and tools for financial planning in addition to bank account integration. To enhance after-tax returns, think about tax loss harvesting and automated tax management services. To secure personal information, look for robust security and encryption. Evaluate your alternatives for customer care. Is it simple to contact customer assistance by phone, chat, or email? What are some potential drawbacks to using a robo-advisor? Here are some potential negative aspects of robo-advisors to think about. Limited customizability, Habosh manage your portfolio using algorithms. There is hardly much room for individualized investment strategies. 
lack of human interaction, you won't receive individualized advice or have access to a financial advisor. Susceptible to market volatility, Habosh might not react to changes in the market as rapidly as a knowledgeable advisor. Limited account options, taxable and IRA accounts are the only real alternatives. Not the best in difficult circumstances. Oversimplified survey questions, the surveys could not fully reflect your financial situation. Unreported charges, some robo-advisors also charge trading, transfer, or account closure fees in addition to the AUM cost. Unproven long-term performance, Habosh have only been in use for a little more than 10 years. Their long-term viability is unknown. Exposure to cybersecurity dangers, with regard to digital platforms, hacking and data breaches are a constant worry. Although robo-advisors are convenient and inexpensive, it is important to take into account the risks and the absence of a human touch. For many investors, using a robo and getting advice from a financial advisor together can be a useful balance. Prior to handing over your finances to an algorithm, it is crucial to conduct your due diligence. Here is a comparison between average robo-advisor fees and fees charged by conventional financial advisors. Fees for robo-advisors. Asset-based fee, usually 0.25 to 0.5% of assets managed annually. This includes managing accounts, building portfolios, rebalancing, etc. Low account minimums, many robo-advisors have zero or very low starting balance requirements, such as $500, allows beginners to access robo-investing. No trade commissions, robo-trading is done with commission-free ETFs and index funds. Regular advisory commissions. Asset-based fee, typical annual rates for complete services range from 1% to 2% of AUM. Instead, some consultants charge flat, fixed charges. Account minimums, to accept clients, minimums of $25,000 or more are frequently required. Increases the entry barrier. Trade commissions, in addition to the asset-based percentage, commission fees can be charged every trade. Hourly rates, for financial planning or other ad hoc subjects, advisors may bill between $100 and $500 per hour. Fixed project rates, could impose flat fees for particular tasks like retirement planning or college preparation. The main distinction is that robo-advisors offer algorithm-based management at a much lower price. Traditional advisors, however, provide individualized advice and more thorough financial planning, making the increased price worthwhile for many clients. The ideal course depends on the requirements and stage of life of each investor. Several notable robo-advisor services average account minimums are shown below. Improvement, no minimal. Wealthfront costs $500. Elvist, no minimum. Vanguard Personal Advisor Services, $50,000, TD Ameritrade Essential Portfolios, $5,000, Merrill Guided Investing, 
$5,000, M1 Finance, $100, Ally Invest Managed Portfolios, $100, SIGFIG, $2,000, Schwab Intelligent Portfolios, $5,000, $500 for E-Trade Core Portfolios. As you can see, many significant robo-advisors, like Betterment, Wealthsimple, M1 Finance, and Elvest, have fully eliminated or have extremely low account minimums. Because of this, automated investing is now available to newbies. Others have larger minimums in the $5,000 to $50,000 range, including Vanguard, Merrill, TD Ameritrade, and Schwab. This mostly targets seasoned investors with sizable holdings. So, regardless of the size of your account, there are reliable robo-advisor solutions available. Find a minimum that matches your present assets by comparing requirements. Here are some pointers to keep your financial and personal data safe when utilizing a robo-advisor. Verify encryption, confirm that the robo-advisor uses bank-level ICE 256-bit encryption or greater. Your data is obscured by this, making it unintelligible to outsiders. Turn on two-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security that makes it necessary to enter an access code received via email or phone in order to log in. Create lengthy, complex passwords that are challenging for hackers to decipher. Think about utilizing a password manager. Watch over your accounts, look out for any shady behavior and go over your monthly statements. Express concerns right away. Review security history, steer clear of any robo-advisor with a history of significant cybersecurity breaches. Check for a successful track record. Limit the number of linked accounts, only link the accounts that will be used for deposits and withdrawals. Keep the robo-advisor's access to some of your accounts limited. Use private, password-protected networks to access your robo-advisor account to prevent surveillance. Beware of public Wi-Fi. Be aware of privacy policies. Verify that the robo-advisor makes clear how it uses and discloses the recipients of your data. By taking these safety measures, you may enjoy the ease of robo-investing while keeping your personal information safe.